Hey folks, Patrick with A1 Vacuum and Sewing. Finally with the long-awaited video regarding Unique's amazing thread storage tower. So um, I kept promising you guys that I was going to do a quick video about the thread storage tower. That kept not happening because we keep selling the thread storage tower that we have. But here you go. Um, this is Unique Sewing Furniture's eight drawer thread sewing cabinet. There are a number of design features about these that really stand out. First and foremost, like all the Unique furniture, it's heirloom quality furniture, custom built in hardwood and solid wood. So, you know, really truly a, a sturdy piece of furniture, not like the laminate you get out of the other brands. Um, there are also some design features that really stand out uh, in how it's put together. I will be posting some video, or excuse me, some pictures throughout the video of how people have set it up with their storage, but they took a number of things in mind. And so first and foremost, the design of the cabinet is set up so that you've got full flexibility in what you put in here. It's gonna hold your standard uh, uh, open cones of thread. It's actually designed to come all the way forward and we'll point out why in a couple of seconds, but it is designed to actually hold 20 inch stabilizers. So most drawers will not hold 20 inch stabilizers. They specifically designed the cabinet. Can you put so it your both 20 ways? inch stabilizer will go right in there. Can you put it both ways? Uh, I think you can actually fit it both ways. So the ways. drawer is 20 by 20. Well, no, it's 20 by 21. So it's okay. actually designed to hold the stabilizer this way. Like if you are maximizing your space, you'd be stacking your stabilizer, you know, horizontally from left to right, uh, not front to back. Um, but you know, they've, they've taken everything into mind. So even your King cones are actually going to fit, uh, your cotton batting will fit. Um, you'll notice things like this. Ooh. It is perfectly designed to hold whole fat quarter packs. So all that will go in there. And then with each cabinet comes and it's funny because most people have actually brought me back what they haven't used. We're this over here. Yeah, it actually comes show it to him? with all these dividers. And, you know, quite frankly, the first time I saw this, I was kind of like, hey, what is that? And then I saw actually how it was set up. And the way it's set up is depending upon what you store, you actually can put these in in any way Ooh. you see Ooh. fit. So there's a little, oh, that's so neat. Yeah, there's a little rim there. So and then rims. these actually hold the dividers. I love that. And so you can actually set the dividers up at whichever uh, space you wish. Um, so if you've got standard cones of thread, it can be set up like that. If we've got to go to say the King Cart, King Star cones, everybody's favorite thread, we can set it up like so. So it's completely configurable, completely designable. Like if you wanted to separate your stabilizer from your thread, you could do that. Um, we are capable of getting it in multiple woods, multiple stains. There's some so what other colors for does the, it come in? Uh, our, our blocks go? Um, you can get it in multiple <laughs> stains. I'm not sure exactly where my paint chips are. Here they are. So, I mean, all these different colors are available. And so there are up charges for some of this stuff. Um, like this Ooh. is Brazilian cherry. Um, this is our sunset gray, which has been really popular. That gray is just super popular. How about the white? This is natural hickory. Oh, that's beautiful. And and it's funny. So like, and once again, I'll I'll uh, edit this with some other things. You There's can get the... it whitewashed uh, or with the white lacquer. I like the whitewash. But um, and we do have the whitewash over here. We've got the under. Oh yeah. Oh. 
It's really messy over here, ladies. <laughs> Welcome to A1 Vacuum and Sewing, where... Well, the, I like the white, the white, the other one. The lacquer. I like the so lacquer. So this is the white wash, which I just think is okay. absolutely gorgeous. And I can't back up enough, but that is underneath our long arm. So they designed this cabinet specifically for a customer request for us because the, the normal cabinet was 24 inches deep. Um, and I called Pat and said, if, if we set it up like that, you can't operate the machine it comes if, out you, too far. if you have your batting roll on there. And Pat said, well, and, and you know, this is one of the things I love about those guys. He's been in so many sewing houses, so, so many sewing rooms. He's like 80, 90% of those customers don't use that roll. And he goes, so what we'll do is I'll sell you two of them. I'm going to make you a deal, <laughs> but I'm going to sell you two of them at 18 inches. And that way it fits under there perfectly. We'll hold king cones, batting, whatever you need. And once again, <clears throat> the drawers come all the way out. So you're not shoving Which is stuff. a huge deal. I know that I have like some Ikea furniture in my room. And uh, it, you lose like the back third of the drawer. So where you, a lot you'll of never the sewing furniture doesn't it. come all the way out. It's There's an overhang. And it's funny, like I really like this. This is the Koala storage cabinet. I've got a deal on this in the store right yeah. now. We're using it as our, our multi-needle stand. But um, Stop one of the things the I actually don't like about this, and it was a complaint that we got from some of those Koala customers, was that the drawers were so deep that they would lose stuff. So if you talk to Pat, Pat will make a deep drawer if you really want one, but Pat will go, no, it doesn't make sense to make the deep drawers because stuff gets you, lost. Stuff the gets bottom. lost. And, um, you know, they do have fully customizable storage tray setups. Like they've got all kinds of stuff. Like I said, Pat, when he made me this piece of furniture, because they don't normally make it in this depth, it's normally almost another six inches deep. He basically was like, listen, when we cut it, this is how we use. I, I'm going to end up having to buy one extra sheet to make two. So this is the price I'm going to give you on your two. That's how we work with these guys. They're, they're awesome. Um, but that is the thread storage cabinets. Yeah. So I do have deals on both the thread storage cabinets. Um, our deals are below map pricing. So if you're interested in the cabinets, Ooh. reach out to us at the store. But I've kept my deals on the cabinets where they were when we were at the um, quilt show. the quilt show. So um, I think we've probably sold eight or nine of those eight drawer um, cabinets. In fact, I had a gal who she had a Bernina. She's got a, a Solaris or excuse me, a Luminaire. And uh, she was looking for a spot to store her. Um, she came in and she's like, I need thread storage and I need a place to put my um, embroider unit. And it just so happened that her um, her Bernina embroider unit oh. fits perfectly on top of the drawer cabinet. Okay. So I was like, let's look at this because you can lift up your embroider unit. It's here. It's out of the way. It's on top. Um and then you've got all these drawers, and that ended up working perfectly. I talked to somebody, and they said um, everything that they couldn't find a place for went into that thread tower. And and they they're like, now my room is totally clean. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's an amazing piece as far as storage is. Concerned. I love the way it's configurable, so you oh, can a, you like can you make put, it fit anything. Yeah. So and like I said, Pat, it, it's uh, like I always learn something when I talk to him, but Pat. When he was talking about it, he's like, nobody else's drawer fits 20 inch stabilizer. Either that or the drawer is so big and so deep, you're never going to find it. This is designed for it. And he walked in the back and he grabbed the 20 inch stabilizer and it fit perfectly in there. Yeah. So um, these and guys, it, yeah. you know, their business, they do these these massive she sheds yeah and so they've kind of seen it all over the number of years that they've been at it yeah and it's that. nice that it also fits the king cones it's not going to fit the super tall ones but the but the, like, like the, the ice cord cones will actually i think the Madera i don't king think cones so do fit in here they don't we can try but i don't think so i am so we're going to do something that's more long arm 
Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. So the the ones that are like that, it's not going to fit, but just like a regular isocord or um, like Rheingold, so, something like that, it'll fit. So, you know, fit. but the nice thing about these guys is if I called them and I said, I want a drawer that can fit yeah. these, he will make me a drawer that fits these. Yes. And then they'll just configure the other two drawers shorter. Whatever you want, we can get for you. Well, and like, I, I think their model yeah. is like, if you can dream it, we can make it, so... Um, beautiful furniture. Sorry it's taken me so long to do it, but I finally have an eight thread, eight drawer thread cabinet in a moment that's not crazy where we can actually do the filming. And I'll get this edited and get it up tonight. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.